So we are uh, using uh, apps to uh, deliberate uh, in, in committees, uh, apps like Zoom, for instance, uh, which are causing uh, some uh, debates lately because of their, um, uh, their data breaches. So uh, I personally am trying to advocate for the use of Jitsi, uh, which is a, an open source and more uh, respectful of, uh, of personal data app that was developed in, in France. Um, but we, uh, we still have uh, troubles for this app to be uh, able to, um, how do we, how can I put this, to, to, to have uh, more than, I'll say, 20 or 30 uh, participants at, at, one ta uh, at the same time. Um, for for the the more um, like uh, let's say formal um, activity of of the assembly and the MPs like voting like deliberate, deliberating in the plenary session uh, we are still doing this uh, uh, in a presential way um, we are uh, however uh, having representatives. Uh, for each uh, political group so that we don't need to be all together uh, at the same time and at the same place. Uh, I, I personally, are, I'm trying to push for more uh, digitiz digitalization of, of this activity. Also, uh, for instance, the questions uh, to the government uh, which uh, take place once a week uh, in France, and uh, we still are doing this uh, in, in the National Assembly when I think we could do it uh, online. Uh, for instance, the European Parliament uh, is doing it online. Uh, we have um, some regions in France, like uh, L'Occitanie, uh, which is also doing this uh, online. We have also the Citizen Conference, uh, which is um, a, a conference with uh, 150 citizens that were selected by sortition um, that are uh, working on uh, environmental issues. And they also uh, are doing all their deliberations online. So I think uh, at the French government, at the French parliament, we could go further uh, in this uh, digitization uh, process. Um, but it's uh, it's it's the, the the moment to advocate for uh, the development of uh, these applications um, because we don't have uh, much alternatives today, and the alternatives that work the best are maybe not the ones that are the more protective and respectful of the users. Um, another kind of um, let's say use of uh, digital um, tools uh, that we are uh, putting in place nowadays is a, a very big uh, consultation um, re regarding the, the day after. We call it le jour d'après. So what's going to happen once the crisis is over? Uh, and, uh, and so we used, for instance, uh, the, applic the application uh, Decidim, the platform Decidim that was developed uh, in Barcelona, uh, which is a civic tech that is very well known because of all the, the different uh, functionalities uh, it has and because it's open source, RGPD compliant, GDPR compliant, sorry, and, um, and with, uh, with a very big community uh, of developers that assure that it's up to date and uh, every day uh, uh, developing further. Uh, so we use this platform to do this big consultation and we are having uh, a lot of participation. We have uh, in, in 10 days, we had uh, around uh, uh, 15,000 um, new accounts uh, with a lot of, of very detailed pro proposals and, uh, and we're very um, happy of, of this uh, development because we see that uh, people, uh, because nowadays they have, they have maybe more time because they're locked out 
they're locked out in, in their homes. Um, they, they are happy to have a place where they can discuss and, and contribute and think about the future in an optimistic and, and positive way. Um, so we're very happy uh, about that, um, that uh, initiative.